Yeah, listen, you know, I, I, I didn't come from anything. I, you know, I was lower middle class at best. And so when I finally got my own restaurant, <laughs> It was about, I, I dedicated everything I had to that restaurant. I worked seven days a week um, for probably, I don't, I don't know, maybe the first 10 years at that restaurant. We were a two-person operation. It was a lot like schwa. So I waited every table, but I also had to cook hot appetizers, and I also did the dishes. So when all six tables were going, it was kind of strenuous. <laughs> um, but, but listen. I mean, you, if you really want to be successful, you want to be great. I would say it's, 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 it's not easy to be good. It's really, really hard to be great. And so if you, want to, if you really want greatness, then you, dedicate, you have to dedicate everything you have to it. You don't have kids yet, do you? You do have kids. Yeah, it's harder than <laughs> I have two. I have two little girls now, but when I, you know, when I started, it was just me. And I could kind of live without consequence, and I had to give everything to it. Great thing about having kids, you have something to work for. So it's it's about going in every day and dedicating yourself completely to it. You know? You just gotta you just gotta you just gotta feed it. It's like a pension. You go in every single day and work as hard as you can. And if you love it, what most the church will say? It's something like, you know, if you love your job, you'll never work again. I mean if you love it, right? There you go. Can I add to that? Because I have a fitness studio for 10 years, working 65 hours of clients a week, 26 hours of classes, and then also running corporate wellness programs. So when you have your own business, if you really want to be successful, the work that you put into it just keeps coming back. Stay focused on who your customer is. Continue to reinvent and use free marketing whenever you can. So figure out how to make it fun. I mean, we used to do... Um, what's it called, dodgeball with Pilates balls. Like I, I, it would be like, there were 24 trainers training at once and all of a sudden on Friday at 10 o'clock the whistle would blow and be like, okay, whoever can do the most push-ups, you don't get hit with the dodgeball. We just created crazy things that made it a little bit different. And use those ideas that cost you nothing. Find out who your partners are in the neighborhoods that you can cross market and promote with because that free marketing you just can't lose. We used to get Dominic's to put our signs up on the board for free frozen turkeys, and then we did a turkey boot camp with med balls that were really frozen turkey breasts. So figure out crazy things that work. Now, Maya Angelou has one of my favorite quotes, which is, years after you meet somebody, you won't remember what the dialogue was, you won't remember what was said, but you'll always remember how they made you feel. Mm -hmm. And you're in the hospitality business just like I am, so concentrating on what hospitality is, which is how you make people feel. That's why they want to come back to your business. That's good. Really good.